Emerald has developed a suite of products for collaborative schedule progressing. This video brochure has been designed to give you an overview of CAPS, our Capital Projects Progressing System. As you can see, I have Primavera client application open. Today I'm using SEGD Project Phase 4 Engineering. You can see the project on your screen right now. The project is open so we can go directly to the Activities window and take a closer look at the project. The layout I'm using includes a folder for Civil Earthworks and it'll help us focus on those activities in the project where the discipline is Civil Earthworks. You can also see that none of these tasks have been updated yet. As a project manager, I'm expecting an update from one of my team members from the engineering team responsible for Civil Earthworks. My team member's name is Bob Brown, and I have already created a custom web update form for Bob that I'm going to show you in a few seconds. This is CAP's login screen. So when Bob goes online to do an update for Civil Earthworks portion of the schedule, he will only be able to see and update the tasks included in the form based on the specified filter. The form is quite simple to use. You can see there are four major tabs, four major sections, each one designed for updating specific data area in B6. Uh, tasks, resources, expenses, and steps. On each tab, there are fields that can be updated by team members. There are icons on the right side of the update form. There are visual tools allowing team member to quickly switch to an activity on a resource tab, expenses tab, or steps tab. I will now demonstrate how to update a couple of tasks using CAPS so that you can see how the update process works. I will start with a milestone and I'll select the started checkbox and you will notice that finish checkbox has been selected for me uh, automatically. That's because it's a milestone so you know it's not that difficult to update. My next task will be 9300. So this task has been fully completed during the past period and it, it was completed as planned. So I'll, I'll select the started checkbox and then I will go to resources tab. Now I can use the resources tab or I can simply click on the icon and it takes me to the resources tab and the activity is highlighted uh, so it makes it easier to update. So I will enter the actual units information for all resources. So I have three resources on this activity and of course my uh, remaining units are zero for each of the resources. And this activity also has expenses. So on the expenses tab I can update the actual cost information. Uh, so I had budgeted 5,000 for consulting fees on this task but in fact I spent 5,500 so I'll enter the actual cost information and my remaining cost is zero. And I need to mark this, the task as completed. And I will update one more task, 9400, and this task is still in progress, so I need to start the task. And then I need to update the remaining duration, which is two days. And then I will go to the resources section and update the resource usage information. So I have three resources on this task as well. And I will update the actual units, which is 50 for each one of the resources. And the remaining units is 30 for each one of the resources. And I have to also update steps. There are some steps on this task. Uh, so there are, as you can see, several drawings and uh, five of them have been completed. So I need to select relevant checkboxes. So once I finished updating, I can click Save Progress and I get a message on the screen that um, value successfully updated and I can go to Primavera to P6 and hit F5 to refresh my screen. And you can already see there are some actual dates in the schedule. And I can view each task individually. Uh, so that the first one is a milestone. So it was uh, started as planned. And two other tasks that I have updated, 9300. So we have the actual dates in P6. 
and the actual resource usage and we, there was also an expense that we entered so we have the actual cost which is a little more than we planned uh, for this activity now for activity 9400 we can also see that there is an actual start date and this activity is still in progress so we have two days remaining and this corresponds to the, acti to the information that we entered using our online update form and on the resources tab there are some actual units and remaining units again based uh, based on the update that we got and on the staffs tab we can see that some steps have been completed so that co that corresponds um, to the update that has been done by our team member if you have any questions on CAPS or any other of Emerald's tools please contact us or visit our website